Oh yeah, Jack, really good session the other day. Hope you found it helpful. Just going to run through now the couple of things we discussed, mainly at setup. As we said, originally, there's a lot of good things in terms of your setup with regards to posture, ball position, body alignment, feet alignment, these kind of things were all pretty decent. The thing for me was you were sort of creating that sort of capital Y shape as we discussed in the session, meaning your left hand now was a little bit on the weaker side at address. And this just caused the club face when it came back to golf ball to aim out to the right and then you just try and create some sort of compensations or adjustments during the swing to send the golf ball to the left. So what we're going to try to do now is going through this process now and initially it might take a little bit of time just getting used to it but obviously once you've done it over and over again this will just become something you do. So starting with the golf club now in your left hand trying to kind of create a straight line now through your left arm elbow hands down to the club shaft and what you'll find by putting the club at this position now that your left thumb now is just going to want to go off to the side there a little bit more naturally. So it's not as if you're kind of changing the position of your hands on the club intentionally, but by moving the club in a different position, your hands will naturally and more comfortably move into that position. Because making a grip change can feel quite awkward. Doing it this way now is going to feel hopefully a little bit more comfortable doing that. So we start off with the left hand and feet together. Then your right hand now is going to sit on the club kind of where it wants to fit comfortably. And we can see a nice sort of tilt there with the shoulders, the zip on the jacket there sort of tilted. And then once you sort of set your feet around that and get comfortable, we can see now that sort of classic lowercase wise we were trying to see at address there much more efficient way of sort of setting up the golf ball and that's going to help you make sure that club comes back a lot easier squarer to target as we said what you will find now a lot of your shots unfortunately are now just going to start going left of target because there's still going to be that instinct for you to hit it non-right so once you sort of set the golf ball there now it's hitting lots of shots and just getting used to that feeling of turning that right side out of the way that we discussed get this right hip and right shoulder basically just kind of moving around the corner, creating that kind of turn and rotation. And then from there, just hitting the golf ball as comfortably, as naturally as possible. There's a very, very good movement, a nice relaxed finish there, good movement in terms of weight shift and transfers of weight there. So I like all that. But what we're going to try and do now is over time, change that instinct, which got created based around a golf ball curving off to the right like so. And now the golf ball is going to start curving off to the left or just going straight left. You, in time, will create a different path into that golf ball to eventually, and this is going to be a long term we want to try and get to, you start hitting the golf ball where you want to go as opposed to this left hand one swinging the club and trying to adjust the club face to hit it away from where you don't want to go. So I hope that all makes sense. I hope that any questions, obviously, give me a shout and I'll catch you soon. Cheers, Jack.